Hello and welcome back to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this series, now I am going to cover question number 27 for AWS Solution Architect Professional. With this questions are provided by HadoopExam.com. So this is uh, from practice paper 1. Now let me directly go to question number 27 and let's discuss what it is asking. Consider the following scenario. You have a VPC with sided block of 10.0.0.16. A subnet in this VPC has a with a sided block of 10.0.1.0.24. Instance is running in that subnet is with IP addresses 10.0.1.4 and 10.0.1.5. On-premises host network is using a sided block of 10.0.37/24 and 10.1.38.0/24. These are select correct statement. So now let me go directly to the explanation and then I'll come to the answer for this. So uh, regarding a VPC, first understand and their sided block. You can optionally set up a connection between uh, your VPC as we have been discussing and your corporate or home network basically using VPN or using direct connect or whatever correct that is what you can use it. If you have an IP address prefixes in your VPC that overlaps with one of your networks prefix and any traffic on this network prefix would be dropped. Basically this is a sided block overlapping. If there is an overlapping then traffic would be dropped here. Now, for example, let's say that you have the following sided block a VPC with 10016. So, how many IP addresses it can support? 2 raised to the power 16. What should be a range for that? Uh, basically, uh, up to like 2 raised to the power 16, it support. Okay, so that would uh, basically you can learn more about CIDR uh, in detail uh, how to it calculated and everything basically so I'll not go in detail this would make a video much longer correct a subnet in that VPC cider block has a 10.0.1.0.24 so this is your VPC basically which have which support 2 raised to power 16 IP in that you have created another subnet which can uh, have a IP range of 10.0.1.0 slash 24 it means 2 raised to power uh, 8 uh, number of IP addresses this subnet can support and uh, basically uh, it can go up to 2 raised to power 8 if we calculate that comes out to be 256 what does it means here so your IP range would be 10 0 1 0 2 10 0 1 255 that would be your IP range for this subnet correct in that is what it would be for this subnet now instances running in this subnet with IP addresses 10.0.1 uh, basically two instances are running in this subnet correct one with having IP addresses 10.0.1.4 and this has an IP address 10.0.1.5 correct that is what now on premises host network using sided block of 10.0.1.4 uh, so your corporate data center which has a sided block of 10 0 37 0 slash 24 again uh, it can support 256 and uh, 10 0 sorry 10 1 38 dot 0 slash 24 so it means its IP range would be if I would say 10 1 38 uh, 0 to 10 1 38 255 correct this is one here and this range for this it is range is 10 1 10 0 37 0 to 10 0 37 to 255 correct this is what this IP range is here basically this so this is a uh, basically if you see this is 38 or uh, 38 and here 37 0 to 37 so this is on premises host network as this okay when those instances in the VPC try to talk to host in this uh, instances on this 10 0 37 0 24 if they try to talk to this instances from this VPC there is the traffic is dropped on 10 0 37 24 is part of the larger prefix assigned to VPC because VPC has a this overlapping 10 0 0 
16 slash like, correct which is fall this range also falls under this range correct so any communication between this would be dropped because of a overlapping IP address the instances can talk to host in 10 138 024 space because the block is not part of this correct so that is what it means if you see here one is here and so that is where it, it does not part of this block and it is only a uh, this this is a different cider range and this this falls under because of this zero if you calculate it would come out to be under this range so that's where the traffic coming from this source 10 0 37 0 slash 24 would be dropped here because this is and this is an overlapping range correct this is an overlapping with this so any overlapping uh, would be a uh, drop you can also create VPC pairing connection between your VPC or VPC in another AWS account VPC pairing we discussed previously a VPC pairing connection enables you to road traffic between of we have already discussed correct I I won't want to discuss again but this is again talking about cider block so what option is saying if any traffic coming from this 10 0 to this VPC would be dropped let's go to the options available when those instances in VPC try to talk to a host 10 0.37.0.34 which is 0 correct address space the traffic is dropped yes that is a correct option when this instance we will try to talk to address can talk to each other no that is not possible when those instances we try to talk respect can be dropped no that would be or discuss uh, that can be or uh, communicate with each other because this falls outside of uh, the, the, this uh, range basically correct so that's where uh, you can uh, have to uh, this range so up to uh, this so you need to understand more on cider block so I would highly recommend use this training options and understand how this calculated so now let me submit this answer and you can see this is a correct answer and that is what I explained you so that's all about this question thanks thanks for watching and I hope you like this session if you're watching on YouTube then uh, please don't forget to subscribe it and I hope this is helping you to understand the cider block calculation overlapping and all this thing thank you I'm stopping now and wish you all the best for your career